Hello everyone, Phil in here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to an Exoforce review, and this one's on Uplink and Sentry from 2006, of course. <coughs> so on the front of the only manual entry we have, which is for Uplink, of course. So on the front of the thing of it, you see a picture of the set running in action above some bridge that's linking the mountain together, and some nice artwork strip on the side with a uh, manga style depiction of Ryo, of course, or Rio, however you say that. You can see the Lego and Exoforce logos and this, and set number 7708. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. And then out of Lego Shop at Home and Lego Club. And for the alternate model that there is. And also some quite nice artwork advertisement of most of the, of the sets in action, and also anime with a slash manga renderings of the main bunch, of course, and also of the robots, and also of the, with the set numbers of the sets that they are included in. And then. See the pieces that come with the set, of course, and the last steps. Okay, okay so now on to the mini figs included. First of which is Ryo, and this is with, or Rio, yeah, or yeah, Ryo. Which, as you see, now he, which was quite common and in a few other sets at the, at the, in this wave, of course. And guess, but of course, did come in a few others as well. But as torso printing, done quite goodly with the AT01. Uh, assembling or writing on it, and also not only leg printing, which wasn't very common at that time, and the hair piece of which, should, uh, hang on, which you may think might be the same as Takeshi's, but actually not, which actually the same as Hayato's, but in purple, kind of interesting, and face printing, if we can look closely. Which of course is an anime style, like all the mini figs, most of the mini figs of this way of this line, of course. And also do have have a destroy devastator robot, which quite s same as all the other ones, but of this one, but except this which in metallic brownish color or copper kind of coloring, if you want to call it, but very interesting how this but one in this color does also come in a few other sets and of course does have the technic uh, rock piece stick in there to make the eyes work and of course the arm piece and hand piece which is still used today on most sets today and from the back part which still see it quite hollowed out kind of like the super battle droids in star wars of course and to, and ryo which not at all, and he back torso printing, and also does have the double side face, which is kind of similar to most anime and mangas, as you can see. A bit, and yeah, and of course, a couple good mini figs that came in both sets, but yeah. First off is Uplink, which as you can see, for a small set for the like uh, seven, eight, seven to nine dollars that it was back in 2006, this is quite good for what it is. Like how most of the Bonacle sets at the time also were. But of course, nowadays you'd expect some little bit more to it with like Star Wars Micro Fighters or Ninjago Spinners and whatnot.
so as for the legs of which that the feet mostly comprised of like like long jagged slopes with a couple stickers on them and of course like all or most Ninjago set or Exo 4 sets it tend to have a whole ton of stickers on them and also one of those car rim pieces is above there and also curved slopes but asymmetric of course one with the odd symbol that depicts Ryo and also odd symbol for that and little warning sign down below and from the back part of which a couple of technic bits of which that link up the lower body to that part of which and of course the uh, main uh, torso bit of it is kind of similar quite basic for as is just brick stacked on bricks since that's the main thing at the time and also does have a little plate piece there which has a little scoping system on it and a pair of levers of course and in the center of which is a pair of single studs or two studs on it oh whoops and that to put Uriah main big onto a course and as for the shoulder areas which comprise of like technic bits and beams and then holding these large orange pieces which you would mostly see in the like sports line on the hockey mini things that you slam heads down on but in this case use it as shoulder pads very good use of those pieces of course and of course on both of which is like identical stickers oh whoops okay for the stickers where one of which has gears on it and one has AT01 on it of which is fitting to that of Ryo of course and where is this one armor which does have a couple of missiles as a missile launcher on it but they don't launch off but you can make them do so if you wanted but in the center which I'm not sure about is a whole large antenna for that and as for this other side of which as a pair of the support pieces I as some call them but used as gun barrels which which a lot of folks oftentimes used as gun barrels on mocks and so for the articulation of this set it was that the arms of which can swivel in and outwards and turn up and down and the legs of which oh, whoops and the legs can from the back part go backwards but not forwards but swivel side to side and can go up and down frontwards and also at the ankles so at least good bit of articulation to there yeah. that is about it for uplink and now on to sentry which as you see does look kind of similar to uplink but of course this which is a robot uh, mech instead of a human's mech in order for the feet of which instead of being jagged slopes instead is just plates with those uh, other slope pieces but with some different stickering to them and also one of those other jacket slope pieces and one of those uh, car engine type pieces but in black but very good use of those pieces and as for the but also do have these like other slope pieces but in dark tan and of course a few stickers around of which kind of like wiring on them which is kind of interesting how that is and for the main uh, body piece also quite simple like the others where just bricks stacked on bricks it's with a couple technic beams holding the arm areas up and also got four studs on there 
to obviously fit your destroyer robot onto a course. But although it doesn't have any monitor on it, like like the uplink kind of did, but but well, maybe it's because he's a robot and he doesn't eat such things. But yeah. And then for the shoulder bits, which are the same pieces but different stickers on it, and like most of the sets, where one of which has the set number on it, I'm not sure why, but whatever. And of course. Also one with the uh, destroyer robot symbol on it, and also black antenna piece on there. And for the weapon parts of which, or this one, comprised of mostly a astromech droid body piece and one of those torch pieces and a technic piece on it. And for the other arm of which probably same same kind of piece there but holding two little missiles on it but they don't watch up but you can make them do so if you wanted <coughs> and so for the articulation is for the shoulder bits of which do oh whoops sorry both of which do swivel up and down in two places, and the arms can swivel in and outwards. And for the legs of which, just the same as up links. So you get some good bits of posability out of it. But, but, and quite, and yeah. And for the sides of which, almost the same size, but. A couple others that were put out in the following wave, I think, also were about as much, but yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. Oh, hang on. Oh. Oh, hang on. Okay. So, for my overall verdict on these sets is... I think they which are quite good sets, like for the time of which, like for a good, a cheap price that they were, well, at least they did provide plenty of stuff to that, like good recolors of pieces, good use of pieces, and also good cheap ways to get both Ryo and a destroyer uh, robot, of course. And of course, I guess they were like good impulse buys at the time, aside from the poly bags, and also good starter sets for that. And, oh, what else? and also, you know, they do have kind of similar features, but at least they kind of differentiate a bit, so they're not so competitive for either. So it's kind of like, so they're sort of the same thing, but one good, one evil. But yeah. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, still looking to get these sets, Definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, wherever, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.